You can't stop chasing the dreams of your life just because when you know when you do it, you're going to have to do it all by yourself. I'm not 100% pleased with how um, my makeup came out. It's very plain, like but I'm okay. You say you look like what? I look like one channel. Two, like two channels. Oh my All these pictures. We're about to go and drop the kids Ooh. off to my mother-in-law. And then, um, y'all, this foundation is not for me. Like <laughs> this foundation is not for me. I... <laughs> that is yeah. Thank you, baby. But it just, it's supposed to be like, oh, it's like a second skin and blah, blah, blah. That's a lie, y'all. So, Catrice, girl, you lying. <laughs> that foundation got it so blotchy after I put it on. And I don't know if it's, you know, with my moisturizer or the primer that I put on before, but I usually use the, um, <laughs> the Maybelline Fit Me. Is it Maybelline? Oh, I think so. The Fit Me Foundation. Which one is that? Hold on, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Your man. I didn't put on some lipstick. I don't even know if it makes sense for me to wear lipstick since I'm going to be putting a mask on and most likely oh, have to... Picture. Um, oh yeah, hold on. I'm gonna back up so y'all don't see how blotchy this foundation is, but we about to go to um, drop the kids off to my mother-in-law. This bug is saying hi. He's saying hi. But after we drop the kids off, then we gonna head to Mississippi. I'm so <laughs> upset, y'all. I was trying to be looking cute and this foundation, I just... <coughs> We gonna talk about that later. We gonna talk about it. When y'all see me wear my Fit Me foundation, you gonna see that it's, it's so different. And it's very, how should I say? That is more of a second skin. And it doesn't even claim to be a second skin than this foundation that I'm trying right now. I just, girl. I don't like it but it is what it is um i'm not gonna let that stop me from enjoying myself with my hubby today because it is our three-year anniversary babe what would you say that you learned what would you <laughs> say that you learned um the most valuable <laughs> lesson you learned in this three years that we've been together oh, valuable lesson yeah I can say, um, it's, if you want a marriage to work, I, I feel like both parties really have to want it. But as long as you worried about your wife and taking care of your wife, as long as your wife is learning to worry about taking care of her husband, it's always going to work. You know what I'm saying? As long as you, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm out here trying to see, you know, what my wife need and my wife trying to take care of me. And that's really good. That's really good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, equals, it equals a successful marriage. It never fails. Yeah. And, and, you know what I'm saying, as long as you ain't out here, well, I'm doing this, blah, 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 you, you know what I'm saying, count what you're doing. Don't worry about what you're doing. You got to, I mean, don't worry about what that person is doing. You need to worry about what, you, what are you doing. Yeah. As long as both both of us playing both our parties part. are playing, you're playing your role. I'm telling you, it's gonna work out fine. I can guarantee. I feel like the most valuable lesson I've learned in this three years that we've been married is how to communicate better. Like, I would say that, and I'm still working on it, y'all. And there's still many things that we have to work on because we're human. I mean, you never stop learning. You're gonna be learning till you die. And that just is what it is. But um, as long as you got a good foundation, as long as you got a good foundation, not this then, one. Then can't, then can't, then can't tell y'all apart. Right, and we keep God at the center of our marriage as well. <laughs> we stay praying, you know, praying for peace in our house, and that's really has been keeping our 
I won't say keeping our marriage afloat because we haven't had any major issues, but I would say that's what keeps us comfortable. Like we make our house our safe space <laughs> to where if some, we, we try to always keep our house the safe space so that if anything is going on outside of our home, at least we know we can go home and enjoy ourselves, enjoy the company of our family and our children. You know, we just try to keep it a safe environment. So if something happened between us or if I do something that Slice does not like or if Slice does something that I don't like, I try to... Um, I, we always try to keep it open to us like big, you know, I don't like how you did that. I think that you should have did it this way instead, you know. Um, and also, even when we have disagreements, uh, we don't like scream and holler at each other. We just try to make sure that we try to, you know, we always do our best to understand what the other person's yeah. perspective. Yeah. And um, this is the most, the, I know that I'm young, y'all. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta tell me, girl. I know, but this has been the best three years of my life and I've experienced so much and I've grown so much and I feel like communicating not just communicating with your spouse but being able to communicate better with other people it just makes life um, so much less stressful so much easier um, it makes life even more beautiful because you get to understand different people and their perspectives and you get to see the world outside of your own eyes. You get to see the world through someone else's. And I feel like that's really important. I don't know why it looks like I'm crying. I'm not, okay? <laughs> my eyes are so watery. <laughs> I don't know why. And it's not my lashes, cause I don't go get my lashes done. I just put my lashes on. It's the air. <coughs> it's the air in the car. But um, anywho, child. We about to go drop off these kids and we will continue this. Um, I'm happy to be sharing our anniversary with y'all. This is gonna be my first like real live video. Um, and this is the this is authentically me or this is my authentic self. So I just wanna reiterate, just like I said earlier, I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to be perfect. Um, I just strive to be the best version of myself that I can. And that may not even be your idea of perfect, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna be me. And this is me. And I'm inviting y'all to my world. And this is my world. And those back there, they're my world too, you know? So just enjoy the ride, girl, cause we about to go drop off the kids and get something <laughs> to eat. And what else, babe? Babe, you got something else planned? <gasps> what? It's a black butterfly. Did you, look. Oh my God, I never seen one of those. For real? I never seen a black butterfly. Oh, that's how you can also. I know, that's a damn shame. It was beautiful though. Oh my God. No, I mean, bae, literally I go to work and come home if I'm not going by Granny and Papa, so. I don't go anywhere and I'm I don't go anywhere because I, I don't I can't bring I don't go nowhere I can't bring my kids no, in the middle of a pandemic and I don't bring my kids outside and that's just really what it is I bring them outside to play in the yard but that's it I'm not bringing my kids inside nowhere I don't even go inside nowhere we about to go y'all we supposed to be going to the sugar factory in Mississippi and Biloxi so um we'll see how that goes I don't know what I'm supposed to be ordering from there. I really wanted to look up the menu before I got there um, to see what they have. So I don't be taking 80 years to order, but um, I'm excited. I'm really just wanting to go for the experience because I don't know what the food is gonna be like though, but I made gumbo. So if it's not good, I'm gonna come <laughs> home and eat. You ready? Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good. Are you ready? I'm so excited, y'all. Hey, y'all, don't mind me. I'm just posting my, my picture of my beautiful wife. You know what I'm saying? That's all. <laughs> he trying to gas me up, y'all. He trying to gas me up, y'all. If he don't gas you up like that. Listen, listen. My wife's bad. This has been out here in these streets. You hear me? This, this one, baby, hand in my car. I don't need it no more. I got the baddest thing out. 
baddest thing out here. Girl, if he, don't, if he don't gas you up like that, sis, we need to discuss this, okay? If he don't gas you up like that, we throwing his ass away. We about to go buy you another one. Come on, let's go to Walmart. We going to the top shelf. <laughs> we gonna get you a good one. So we are getting some gas. Bay is pumping the gas. And um, not only are we getting gas, but we're also gonna be um, getting some food for my baby because she wanted some fries. So we came to Brothers so we could do both at the same time. If you're from New Orleans, then you should know about Brothers. They got them everywhere. You could go get your gas. You could go in there and get some hot food. But it's a lot of places like that here. Um, if you're not from here, just so you know, you could go to the gas station and get you some food and pump your gas. And I'm not talking about the stuff that they just keep under the heater. I'm talking about they end up throwing down. You could go in there and brothers really <clears throat> i think brothers have like chicken and i think they might have like fish and fries and stuff like that they do the fry stuff but um they do have places like triangle um in the city where you could do like ribs and red beans and rice and all that baby at the gas station y'all not ready pumping gas he about to go in there and give her size some chicken tell me what y'all like better because we only come here every blue moon. We don't think about eating brothers whenever we think about eating chicken. Now, if we wanna have chicken that we not frying at home, we'll go to Popeye's because they got the best chicken, let's be honest. But this is something for like, you know, when it is, it's, it's a good price and you just, you know, need to run and get some chicken that's somewhere that's close to the house. You don't have to go far. It's wrong. The kids love it my baby loves chicken and fries um let me know what y'all what y'all like to uh get from here and let me know do y'all prefer like the regular chicken that they fry here or do y'all prefer their chicken strips i like the chicken strips better i can't tell you the last time i had chicken strips from here but every blue moon my baby loves fries like them little fat fries they got from here she loves those so we come get those for her just the fries, y'all. This is what the fries look like from there. And Versailles love these, and I stole one of her fries. Yeah. Now we were just talking, and he was saying how people, people be going crazy behind brothers, people that's not from here. Now I said Popeye's got the best chicken. Now the chicken, like the regular chicken with the bone in it, yes, that is the best. But I think Brother's Chicken Strips better than Popeye's. Every time I try to get chicken strips from Popeye's, it's always like so much crust on it and not enough chicken. Popeye's, come on, baby. What we doing? <coughs> Anywho, my family don't need to be eating no chicken. It's good. Anywho, we about to um go. here first um before we go to the sugar factory is that right mm -hmm. we're in Gulfport, um mississippi they act like they um they going to vegas this is, <laughs> <laughs> this, is this is new orleans vegas I'm going to yeah. We're definitely not in Vegas, so I'm not about to <laughs> tell that lie just act like it's their vegas. i'm not about to tell that bold face as really, they really do act like this day vegas I love coming out here casinos though. And everything out here, so I mean, we've been to the Beau Rivage a few times. Mm -hmm. I like it. I want to go to a lot of more casinos though, because they got. My mom wanted but to go to But we're going to one. another casino right now. I don't know what casino the Sugar Factory is in. I don't know exactly. Ooh, bumpity bump, bumpity bump. I don't know. Bump. But you can't do it. It's 
it's really beautiful today. It's clear in the sky. Everybody's I out. I stuff all in there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on. I think you go on. Oh, they got a Nike one. Um, how, why are you taking me all the way down here? Who, me? Yeah, why are you taking me? I'm not Nike driving, one? buddy. What's your Nike and Polo? Like, they, they put, oh, you they have to find together. Polo. <laughs> they, they put them two together, like, to, to, you know what I'm saying? This You just did this for yourself. I'm not paying him no mind, y'all. Look at my... One of my that was one of his gifts, his so Versace, <laughs> Versace Eros, or the toilet. Oh, smells so good. Mm, it smells so good. Girl, let me tell you what this smell like. Let me explain to you what it smell like. You in a room sitting down somewhere and the entrance is behind you. Okay. <laughs> a whole man walks through that damn door. And you smell that cologne. And he better not be ugly and make us turn around for no reason. Okay? Because that cologne smells so... <laughs> <laughs> Even when ugly, ugly niggas got on It smells cologne. so damn good. Oh my goodness. Girl, it smells like a fine ass man. That's what this cologne smell like. Versace, Eros, or however you say this. Ooh, smell like a fine man. A fine man who know how to pick his fragrances, okay? Mm, smells so good. Let me tell you. Let me explain to you something right quick. A man, he could not look the best, okay? He could not look that great. But if his clothes is clean and he done moisturized his face that morning, he got on some decent shoes and he smell good, girl, I don't give a damn what your face look like. You smelling good and you looking good. Your clothes is clean. Your shoes is clean. I don't give a damn if you bought the shoes from Walmart. If they clean, we can, we right here, okay? Me and Bay got our mask on. We about to go in here. Grab this mask from Shein too. This is not my favorite one. The one that I really wanted, I think I left it at the house. So that's out of that's out of there. So I'm about to put my sandals on. Um, I kind of want to show you guys my shoes. I told you everything. Ouch! I hit my head. Everything that I got is from Shein, and these are my shoes. These are my shoes. They're the clear ones, you know. Let me tell y'all okay this little soft part right here they are so soft and comfortable y'all and i haven't worn heels in a while like since i had i haven't worn heels actually since before i had my daughter and versailles too so going back to wearing heels and putting these bad boys on they have the clear strap on them so they pretty much go with anything and then oh my ring's coming off sorry and then the heel is clear. You see that? The heel is clear and these are clear. This is a really cute shoe, y'all. I love that for me. I love that for anybody who wants a nude shoe that don't have too much going on and that'll pretty much go with anything. But I'm not about to wear those in this outlet because I'm not about to play myself, okay? I'm about to put these sandals on. My little rainbow sandals, I'm gonna show them to y'all and then we gonna go in here. Yeah. Okay. What? Ever since the internet is this is like you always can find a lot of stuff on it. Yeah. Hmm? 
Wow, that must be um, a very well insulated um, refrigerator or something. It's, it's, it's material. Is it a thick material? It's so pretty out here. They got polo, they got banana republic. They got cake. See, they say everything they got right there. We just left out of um, Ralph Lauren. I don't really do H&M. But we just hey, left out of Taurus. I mean, you could do that on And I didn't see much of anything in there. Too much light. Yeah. You got trash on it. <laughs> we are inside the Hard Rock Casino. Is that right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the hotel and the casino in Biloxi. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Dunkin' Donuts. I don't I don't think I ever had donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. Look how big that I don't know how we supposed to get where we going. Look at that. There's another floor down. I thought this was the one. Yo, why well, I thought that say Manchu chicken? Yeah, I thought that said Manchu chicken. Somebody come get me. It's the drinks that they have. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Bodyguard, hitman, no hitman. I'll show you guys the food when we get it, when we get in there.
we about to go get my babies. I'm back home now, y'all. We got our babies and we're about to get settled. I just wanted to say thank y'all so much for watching and coming along with us on our little journey for our third year anniversary. We enjoyed ourselves and we had a good time and we hope that y'all had a good time watching us and coming along with us um thank you so much for watching my baby's in the bed sleeping you know what before i go i wanted to show y'all exactly what foundation that was that i was telling y'all about earlier and which one where is it doggone it it's in the other makeup bag and i think it's in the bathroom this is the foundation that I usually use and I usually use it this color is actually really uh, this one is too dark this was this is 235 my normal color is 225 I think my husband bought me a bunch of these one time and he accidentally bought this color <laughs> so I bought one of the wrong ones? One of them was the wrong color, yeah. Oh. Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is exactly what I thought it was earlier, but not in this color. I used the color 225. Um, also, go check out um, Bo Danielle Beauty. Um, this lip gloss is my favorite lip gloss. It's a lip, they call it a lip liqueur. I really don't know what the difference is. I guess because it's like a smooth, like colored lip gloss, but it keeps my lips moisturized when I put it on. Um, and since I wear a mask, I don't usually wear lipstick because the lipstick is gonna get everywhere, but I can put a little bit of this on my lips. And not only does it tint my lips a little bit um, because it's like a colored gloss or a lip liqueur as it's called, but um, it also keeps my lips very moisturized um, and sexy. But anywho, pressed and get naked. Who told him that? Naked. Who told him that? Naked. Okay, okay, okay. Sometimes I feel like we should be getting an extra check. I wanted to show y'all this necklace too but this necklace um, I got it from Shein as well as this uh, halter top dress that I have this is the dress it's like a halter top dress I still have my makeup out from earlier so don't judge me okay I love this this is really cute and it can dress don't open it I'm gonna take care of it it's vinaigrette <laughs> Slice does not like vinegar and that's what I put on my salad every day. He hates that. Anywho, I ain't worried about him, y'all. I told him not to open it, he didn't listen. Remember I showed y'all them shoes earlier? I didn't even wear those shoes. I will. I didn't wear the shoes, but let me tell you why. Now, they were really comfortable and they had a little heel on them, but I told y'all I haven't worn heels like that since I had my daughter and I wasn't trying to be looking crazy and I wasn't trying to be uncomfortable and I didn't know that um the sugar factory and Biloxi was going to be in the hard rock casino so we had to walk a little bit to get there and I didn't want to be walking a long ways in those hills and they go from being comfortable to uncomfortable I was like I'm not about to play myself I didn't have a like a large bag for me to carry like extra shoes or whatever so i was like i'm just wearing my sandals that's just gonna be what it is and next time when i go somewhere uh if we just going into a restaurant or something like that that's when i will wear the shoes but if i'm gonna be doing walking i'm gonna wear walking shoes I'm not gonna front and act like i can just be walking around the hills because i haven't done that in a really long time and even when i was doing it it wasn't comfortable and like i said I'm not about that uncomfortable life. I'm not. I'm not about it. Bay, is there anything you would like to say or add before we close this video out? 
You gotta come see it. It was really fun. I had a good time. And I'm about to eat my doggy bag food. Oh my God, he's such an old man. Put it in the doggy bag. He had fun, I had fun. Bay was looking really good and smelling really good. He had his Versace Eros on today. I don't know if I say that right. Eros, Eros, I don't know how to say it. Thank y'all so much for watching and y'all have a good night. We will come back another time with something else. I really wanted to do this. I was determined to, even though my makeup didn't come out the way I wanted it to this morning. And that was very frustrating because I was like blending my eyeshadow really good. And then I did something really ugly at the end that ruined the whole look. So instead of me going outside looking like a fool with crazy eyeshadow on, I just decided to clean it all off and not do any. Because I was already running late and it is what it is. But anyways, I enjoyed myself. I hope y'all enjoyed yourselves. Um, Them drinks at the sugar factory, okay? <laughs> I don't know how much alcohol they put in those drinks, but your boy hooked me up. Your boy made sure I was good when I left. Let me tell you, I got the one, I was about to get the cotton candy one, but I didn't get that one. I ended up getting the one that said Henny something, Henny something. So you know what they had in there. And it was, it was good. It wasn't too sweet and it wasn't overpowering, but it was so good. But if you keep drinking that drink, it started to like, started to creep up on me. And I was like, whoa, okay, wow. I can't stand up now because I've been sitting the whole time and drinking this. And so many people had birthdays there today and it was lit. I mean, they turned up for people birthday for real. So I had a good time there. The waiter was so nice. I wish I would have got his name. Yeah, light skin dude. The light skin dude with the curly hair. Yeah. He was really nice and he looked out for us and we gave him a nice little tip, but I didn't get his name. I wish we would have got his name so we could like do a nice review for him or something because he really looked out for us. Um, anything else? We ain't win no money. We went to Hard Rock and we ain't win one red cent and then people was telling us before we went that we wasn't gonna win nothing. So y'all are known for people losing their coins. I wouldn't recommend gambling there, but it was, it was, we had a good day. We had a good day. We had a good time. I mean, you know, when you doing stuff like that, it's a possibility you may not win anything. The experience was good. And that is what makes a difference to me, as well as the sugar factory. The experience was amazing and the food was off the chain. So I don't have any complaints. I mean, you're going to spend, you're going to spend when you get there, you're going to spend, but I feel like it was worth it. Do you feel like it was worth it? Yeah, it wasn't that much as I thought it was going to be. I know. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be either. So You're going to get your money's so worth. I feel like it's going to be expensive, but it ain't worth it. I'm like, we ain't doing it no more. Yeah, I know. Slice someone and put his meal in the air fryer, y'all. We about to go finish enjoying our time. And we wanted to share that with you guys. Our special day. Our anniversary actually isn't until Monday. We'll be married for three years. And babe, what you said you learned in this three years? You told me earlier, but I forgot. You just gotta worry about taking care of your part. Right, you just have to worry about taking, doing your part. Mm -hmm. And just as long as you can trust the other person to do their part, then everything is good. I said the... The most valuable thing I learned in our relationship is how to communicate my feelings. And watch anime together. Girl. Baby. Mm -hmm. I don't buy no damn anime. I love y'all. And we about to go. My kids sleep. And I'm sure my son gonna be waking up for a bottle soon. So we gonna holler at y'all later.
Y'all be blessed and be safe out there. Don't go out there getting no the Rona. We wore a mask when we went out tonight. Or today or whatever. And we will see you guys later. We'll holler at y'all in the next one. You can't stop chasing the dreams of your life just because when you know when you do it, you're going to have to do it all by yourself.